All right, hi everybody, welcome to another devlog of the AI Sticker Maker app, an app that uses machine learning to create fun stickers of your face. In this episode, we're going to focus on making the rest of the stickers into the app and showcase them to get everyone up to speed. To have a sneak peek, this is just me playing around with MediaPipe and making a new mustache filter. So right now we have six variations of the stickers that are already working in the app, but we need them to get into the new version. So I did that. It wasn't that difficult since it's the same format as the vanilla sticker, just need to change the request to the server. Now let's do an overview on how the different sticker works and what I've been using to create them. First, let's do a quick pass over the architecture of the client server that I have. So Flutter sends a request with the configuration of a sticker and an attached image. Then in the server, I have an Nginx server running a uh, reverse proxy. This works as a load balancer into four different running apps that are Python servers that handles each request. Okay, with that said, let's talk about the sticker. So the vanilla sticker is the most simple one, given an image of a face. First, we make something that I called a face box that crops the image into the face of the person and makes it easier for processing later. Then using a neural network, we segment the face and make a mask with this. Then depending on the settings, we blur the edges or we put a border with a color. This is simply done with OpenCV blur function into the mask and the fine contours also in the mask that we created from the segmentation. The paint style sticker, this one we do exactly the same as the vanilla sticker. Now we pass the image to a style transfer network. In particular, this is a pretend network with a style already baked in. I want to change this for adding another method to do style transfer, but that's going to be in the future. Then to keep the texture of the painting, we do a color transfer of the original image to the color of the one. Then the paint sticker is the same as the uh, paint style, but we don't do the last step and the color of the style transfer is kept in the final result. Then the face paint style is similar to the previous one, but we don't crop out the image and we only paint the face of the person. One upgrade to this one is to mix two style one in the background and annoying the person's face, but I didn't do that yet. It might be a simple change there. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Well, this one is kind of the same as the face paint, but we do it in the hair. <laughs> and lastly, we have the face texture. This one is the face paint with color transfer of the original person. This is like only keeping the texture of the style transfer. Alright, I talk a lot about the app and filters, but let's talk a little bit about the motivation of this app. I think it's just to have fun and learn something and acquire skills. And when the moment comes to be prepared and make uh, something that may be more meaningful or I don't know. I think the phrase luck is preparation meeting opportunity is very true. So I see this as me preparing for whenever luck will arrive at my door, so to speak. But yeah, now let's talk about the new stickers that I did for this new version. Uh -huh. I'm not only making a new UI and UX of the app, making a couple new stickers with MediaPipe. So let's talk about them. I use MediaPipe. Uh, the sticker is not very complex, but I think they are really fun. So let's talk a little bit about a MediaPipe face mesh. This is a model that Google provides us and we can all use it to make stuff. It basically detects the a face mesh of a person and we can do all sort of stuff with it. I'm going to basically use this and OpenCV perspective transform to put things into people's faces. All right, so let's uh, sort of do an overview of the uh, stickers that I made for this version. First, we have the stash sticker. As you saw in the sneak peek, we have this one. We simply use four points from the face mesh and four points from the mustache image that is hard coded, meaning I put them myself and using perspective transform, we warp the image into place. Then you're seeing the PNG mask that we can open uh, with this option in OpenCV. We merge the two images into one and we have our uh, final result. If you don't know what perspective transform is, we simply need four points four from the source and four from for, for the destination. And OpenCV calculates a 2D transformation to transform the image and put it in the correct place. I'm using that to uh, manipulate the image that I want and put it uh, in a special position, in this case around uh, in the upper lip of the person. Then we have the angel sticker and the deal with it sticker that we do kind of the same. 
but we need to change the corresponding points of the uh, images and the source in the face mesh. As I said, these are simple transformations, so if you stress the pipeline, things are not going to go well, but I'm not that proficient with 3D transformations, so in the future I might work on something more complicated here, but for a first implementation I think they are kinda right. If you have any fun idea on uh, something to do with this, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, so I'm working on this uh, sticker, but it's not working. It's supposed to be the Dable sticker or something like that. I can't find the, the correct way of uh, warping these horns right here. So um, yeah, working on this. Let's see if I can, I don't know, find a better way of doing this. So let's show this a little bit. So here I import and define my variables. Uh, here it is a, like a test inference for the face mesh and here we can see the face mesh the uh, image is actually too big that's why the dots are really small okay in this one uh, you can see better the uh, dot and here i'm doing the warping as you can see it's not working uh, correctly right now what i'm doing is choosing points from the face mesh and putting points in the uh, image of the horns and trying to warp that into the image but it's not working. I might try to grab a point and add in the X direction uh, to create another point. So I have four points. So these are the four points that I put in the, um, the horns. I'm going to change them. So I have one of each in each corner and I'm going to then choose in the face, I'm going to choose uh, two points and then create other points from uh, calculating the, uh, from the x the y axis i think it is let's try that and see if that works i have this sort of tool that i made to um, select the points uh, it looks wonky because um, the cb2 image show doesn't show transparency but regardless of that i can click in this image and in the terminal it's going to print the coordinate that i that I need for the points. Awesome. I just close this and I have my four points here. Okay. Uh, so that worked. Now let's see the animation or the uh, with the camera and see if it works. So basically here I grabbed two points. Basically I added 40% of the uh, Y direction minus that. So it's going to go upwards, the coordinate there. And yeah, it works. So it sort of works. Uh, it's better than before. Uh, you can see if I rotate my head, it sort of follows me around. But if I do something really wonky, like, I don't know, <laughs> not that great, but for a little uh, joke, maybe, maybe enough. The eyes are really, really, really good, I think. Alright, this is going to be it for this one. We are getting closer and closer to releasing this update, maybe one or two more devlogs. In the next one, we're going to tackle the server, talking about the architecture and finalizing changes there. And in the last part, we're going to focus on monetization and finalizing the UI and the UX for the release. I think that might be the last one, but we'll see. I want to release this update in this month, but it might go over the first weeks of the next one. I have a bunch of other apps that I want to make. So I'm hoping to put this one in a good state for a while and start working on those. All right, and that's it for me. I see you in the next one. Bye.